A day after Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman presented the budget, the opposition has been quick to attack the NDA government. Firstly, Congress accused the NDA of copy-pasting its manifesto. And secondly, the entire gamut of the opposition and its states have accused the NDA government of favouring its own allies and ignoring non-NDA rule states. Now, India bloc leaders staged protests outside parliament against the centre, while inside both houses of parliament, opposition chanted slogans against the budget. Four opposition chief ministers have now declared that they will boycott the next Niti Aayog meeting on July 27. The opposition says the government's attitude is completely antithetical to constitutional principles. Now, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has accused them of misleading the public and not looking at the fine print. Who is in the right here? Because this funds issue has been raging in opposition states for quite some time. Is it fair to say that the government ignored opposition rule states just because their names were not mentioned in the Finance Minister's speech? We take that question to our guests joining us in just a bit. As soon as the budget was presented, non-NDA rule states raised this alarm claiming their demands have been ignored. But are they factually correct in doing so? Let's find out. Now, West Bengal government has alleged that the demands raised by them were neglected. And there was no flood assistance, for example. The government in its counter has said that the Purvodaya mission announced is focused on all eastern states and actually West Bengal was mentioned in it. Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister Sukhu Singh claims that there is nothing announced for states' tourism or connectivity. The government reminded them that they have announced assistance to the state for reconstruction and rehabilitation post floods through multilateral developmental scheme. Siddharamaya government in Karnataka alleged that centre has not announced any irrigation scheme or funds for industries and neglected virtually all of their demands. The government reminding the Congress government there that just last year, an assistance of 5,300 crore was announced to provide sustainable micro-irrigation and filling up of surface tanks for drinking water. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin accused the government of running the government on basis of political likes and dislikes and accused them of not considering his own state's demands. The reality is that the government did announce an industrial corridor project from Vishakhapatnam to Chennai that obviously benefits Tamil Nadu as well. Telangana Chief Minister Revan Reddy too from the Congress accused the centre of discrimination that there is zero allocation for his state but there was indeed a mention of funds for Hyderabad to Bengaluru corridor. Remember, this is apart from the devolution of funds that centre does to states as per their normal share. Even in Parliament, the opposition tried to corner the Finance Minister who gave it back. On Congress's claim that only NDA allies were favoured because the government now depends on them, Finance Minister accused them of misleading the public. She mentioned even yesterday that not all states and their allocation is mentioned in the speech, but that doesn't mean that they aren't getting anything. On the claim by Sena UBT that Maharashtra was insulted, she mentioned that the state is getting 76,000 crores for various projects, so it cannot be said that the state was ignored. TMC called the budget biased because they say Bengal received no funds. Nirmala Sitaraman, in fact, accused the state of not implementing any central schemes, so what should the funds over and above its share be given for? With that, the big debate coming up is simply this. The opposition is up in arms again. They continue to raise this. We are not getting enough funds from the centre issue. But were non-NDA states ignored or is this pure politics? That's coming up with our guests. सबके थाली खाली और दो के थाली में पकोड़ा और जिलेबी ये ये दो छोड़ के किसी को नहीं मिला कुछ जीरो हैज बीन गिवन टू बिंगोन इन द बजट and zero has been given to battle the floods of Malda.
This is a deliberate attempt of the opposition parties led by the Congress party to give an impression to the people, oh, nothing has been given to our states, it's only been given to two states. Several schemes given by Honorable Prime Minister in the last 10 years have not even been implemented in Kerala, okay, West okay. Bengal. Let's go across to our guest joining us, Syed Zafar Islam, national spokesperson of the BJP, Anshul Avijit from the Congress Party joining us. I also have with me Gujaran Das, commentator on economy and economist Rajiv Desai. Let me begin with Anshul Avijit. Anshul, the finance minister is saying you're picking and choosing what she's saying in her speech, but not really going to the fine print. Certainly, even when UPA finance ministers presented their budgets, it's not as if they mentioned every opposition rule states. In fact, I have data to suggest they didn't even mention many opposition rule states. It's one or two states that are picked and mentioned specifically in a budget speech. So what is this hullabaloo all about? Well, you know what the hullabaloo is about. I mean, it, this, the government stands completely exposed. These two particular states are the ones that are giving oxygen to this government hmm. and keeping it afloat. I mean, the uh, finance minister could have very well mentioned this and avoided this controversy. What the prime minister, uh, what the finance minister's speech is, and what she highlights in that particular speech is what is relevant. Right? So that your is problem is the... that she highlighted her ally states. Your problem is not so much that others didn't get anything, but that's not what Congress leaders are saying. No, no, no. I, I'm not. Uh, whether they got it or not is another question altogether. Um, that should all, be the know... only question. The question no, no, should no, no, be who was no. highlighted. Well, be let us let, allow me to speak. Yeah, sure. What? What the finance minister highlights in a speech, whether she highlights employment after 10 years and forgets about it for another 10 years, whether she highlights MSMEs because these are relevant, because the allies are pressing a new or because this is a major issue of the country, assumes importance, doesn't it? Otherwise, why talk about unemployment? You talk about big loans to corporates, talk about everything else, but keep uh, employment buried. What you mention in your speech on the floor of the house, does it not assume any importance? No, but is where that, is, is the is discrimination? I understand what you're saying. Of course, the fact that the finance minister is picking out Bihar and uh, Andhra Pradesh and mentioning what they're doing for these two states is politically relevant. I'm not denying that. But can it be extended to say that non-NDA states have been discriminated against? Clearly, because many of the demands met, uh, which were... Uh, expressed to the finance minister, for example, from Tamil Nadu, from Karnataka, from many other states have simply not been met. There is a handout that has been given. And, you know, by the way, I don't begrudge what has been given to the states. I'm from Bihar yes. and I know the extreme levels of poverty, of unemployment, of the state of education and health there. That is not the problem. In fact, Bihar has been shortchanged because what you have given Bihar is not special t status, which would have formally allowed funds to come in. What has it been expressed here, even for Bihar and Andhra Pradesh? What is the budget? It's a statement of intent. It's budgetary allocations. Hmm. It's budgetary estimates. It doesn't mean it's going to actualize. What has actually been given to Bihar, we don't know whether it's going to come. Uh, but whether yes, those but that's, are going to take in off. that sense, the government has stood true to its word. It's not as if the government is giving a dole out either to Bihar or Andhra just because it happens to be, you know, very key ally states now. This is still going to happen by virtue of how funds are given, uh, sometimes on loan, uh, on credit, etc. But that doesn't support either argument. No, one that second. Let me finish argument. my point. My point is it's not as if the government has just opened and loosened its purse strings for an ally state now. They're of still going to do it as per the process by which funds are going to be made available and allocated according to the projects, according to what the states, you know, uh, show, ask for. There are many, many processes involved. So I'm not quite understand and understanding That's where is worse. the discrimination coming from. That's even worse. 
No, but that's the process. No, no, hang on. No, no, no. We just wait. Hang on a minute. Look, this is what is a completely political budget, right? In that sense. First of all, it's a confessional budget because what you haven't done for the last 10 years, you admitted and acknowledged that employment was an issue. You should have tackled it. Sure. You know, even before the pandemic, you've never done it. You focused it and now, you know, it's too little, too late. I don't know what's going to happen. That stands true for everything what the budget allocates. Even last year, if you see what are budgetary allocations, for example, in education, 1,16,000 1,16,000 crores. Actually, what was given for education was 1,8,000 crores. You okay. don't actually give what you promise. No, Hang but, on a minute. No, now, but Avijit, I'm not happened. discussing that today. I'm discussing no, no, no. this specific charge know, no, that the you. government has been biased towards non-NDA states. What's the proof of that? Then I go across to Syed Zafar Islam as well. What is the proof? The proof is the cherry picking by not just the cherry picking, the mentioning of two particular states which are critical to the survival of this government, to this highly brittle dispensation. Okay. Right? To pacify them, you've given them lip service. What you ultimately going to They seem to be happy there. with it. No, no, no. <laughs> They're not cripping. It's almost are, as if the opposition are, has been from day are, one, since before you know. the swearing in, you know, look, been I hoping. Under, One second, Avijit. The problem is the opposition has been hoping no, that no, both Nitish Kumar and Chandra Babu Naidu are going to twist the knives in the back of the NDA government and somehow behave like this caricature of the allies from the the 1990s. They are not doing it, but you are doing it on their behalf. How much are they going to critique this? What what Nitish Kumarji wanted was a special status. What we've been asking for is a special status. The special status doesn't exist anymore. You know this. No, no, but you can... So, neither does the 14th Finance Commission. Yes. You, you can have a you have a new finance commission, you can have a new special status. But what it was done away by the what UPA. Is, it doesn't matter. It can be reintroduced. We but why did it do away with it? Economic economic policies are dynamic. Right? So it, it was okay nature, for you to do away with the special so status when you, you were in power back. and Bihar has been asking for it even since then. It's not as if this is a new okay, demand. Earlier, there was a trickle-down policy of development. It was the Congress government that became came with radical reforms in 1991 and completely changed all that and said, no, we're going to go do away with all this bureaucratization. What this government, by the way, has done is introduce that license, Raj, with all their policies. Okay. We've gone back all right. To We're kind of go- moving away from the central issue I'm discussing. Let me bring in Syed Zafar Islam as well. A political budget with an eye to pacify your political allies. Uh, You could have mentioned what you're doing for some other states as well. Yes, uh, there were a couple of other non-NDA rule states that were mentioned in the finance minister's speech, but that's not enough. I think it shows their ignorance. Had they gone through the budget speech and the finer points in the budget, then they would have realized that uh, even though states which have, every state have been given allocation, in, uh, in the budget. There is no state which has been ignored. And even Maharashtra has not been discussed or even mentioned in, his, in her speech, yet 76,000 crore have been allocated for a post. Has, has she speech? No, she has not. Because one or two states are mentioned in, in, in that, uh, if you do a back testing of all the speeches made by the earlier finance minister, you will, re- you will realize that none of them have mentioned every single state. But you have only cherry-picked the two Pradesh, most they, important they, 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 ally states of yours. That's the no, problem. No, not at all. Not at all. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Andhra Pradesh doesn't have a capital. Don't you think that they need a capital? And if the budgetary allocation is made, or even though the budget speech is saying that it will be arranged, whether the direct budgetary allocation is there, whether the, the guarantee will be there, whether government will, simply central government will help them arrange this 15,000 crore, the final point is not, the details are not there. Simply it is said that it will be arranged 15,000 crore for creation of a capital hmm. uh, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Adhra Pradesh state. Well, ma, ma, uh, 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 sorry, Maharashtra, 76,000 crore for a port. It's a, it's a big amount, but had we, has she mentioned about it? Because that was not her intent. Intent was not to politicize. They are politicizing. That was not her intent while mentioning those two, two three states. Okay. She mentioned about other states also, Uttarakhand or for that, state, for that matter, even Himachal Pradesh. But the fact is, they realize that it's a very good budget. It's a balanced budget. It's a, the budget which actually shows the roadmap for Vixit Bharat. 
is a budget which actually they were targeting about uh, the government about job creation. This is unprecedented the, uh, uh, decision which has been taken. Never ever it been taken okay. by any other uh, government. You know, job creation and whether the, this is an acceptance of the fact and that job creation has been the loose no, end. No, we discussed yesterday. So, Sir, so we discussed they yesterday. To, they have to create. No, no. J j all I'm saying that they they realize that they were talking about fiscal fiscal prudence. Not uh, that is also there better than they were anticipated or uh, the hmm. street was expecting. No, everything has been done, so they have to criticize something. Okay, so they hair splitting. Trying to okay, is this hair splitting at the worst? Uh, hard, hard to hard they understand. Uh, hard to hard they understand. That it's a very good budget. Every state is getting. No state has been ignored, and every state will get the allocation from the center. Uh, well, every state has to get the allocation from the center, but allocation itself of how the funds are, div uh, uh, you know, d uh, uh, the devolution is done is also been every a matter of great debate naming. recently. No. Uh, Okay, but Gurcharan Das, but, but is this hair splitting of the worst kind? So I'll come back to you, I'll come back to you. Gurcharan Das, is this hair splitting of the worst kind where, you know, if you don't find anything else, then you criticize the fact that you only mentioned two of your ally states, you didn't mention anybody else. You know, I think that, uh, I, I, look, first of all, let's recognize, this is Kursi Bachao. That hmm. is absolutely true. You don't want the government to fall. Hmm. If these two states <laughs> fall, hmm. I mean, if these two states turn against you. Hmm. But I think in the narrative, I wish Shivani, Nirmala Sitaram had fallen your advice and actually listed <laughs> all the things she was doing hmm. for Maharashtra and for the rest of the states. Hmm. Anyway, that, that it's the job now of the these guys. But, you know, I don't, I'm not sympathetic to Bihar's I mean, one feels sorry for Bihar, hmm. but Bihar actually destroyed its own treasury by declaring prohibition. Hmm. One lesson we have learned in the last 50 years hmm. that every state depends on alcohol to, for raising revenues. So if you're going to have prohibition, you better have a backup plan hmm. and not, it's, it's, and, and also the sympathy I have sympathy for Andhra, but I deplore the fact that they they destroyed again their treasury by the, giving free power to farmers, the way Punjab did. Hmm. So there's a certain responsibility that each state also has, hmm. and it should be reminded of its of its own responsibility that you have a have, you must also do the work that is required for you. You can't be just a victim. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, having said all that, let's get down to what I personally think was, was is, is, is missing. I think it's, it's, it's the, clearly the BJP has learned something from this election. You can see that overall narrative on job creation mm -hmm. is there, but it is still needs to be, you need a push you need a policy and a structural changes that are needed. But the best line in the budget of, uh, of, of the finance minister was that statement that she said that the government will be announcing a new policy. Yes. That means they'll have a task force. They'll do, I mean, between the end of the election and the budget, they couldn't very well uh, uh, do all this. Hmm. But there are ways, and I think the start is good. I mean, the apprenticeship scheme. I mean, if the Congress says, oh, but you've copy-pasted our ideas, I think that's terrific. Yeah, that's Let's a compliment. Get the best ideas. Imitation is the best form the of flattery. But I'll come back to yeah. the jobs issue and some of the other issues in just a bit. I want to go across to Rajiv Desai also on the issue of what states are getting, what opposition role states are getting, not getting. It is recorded in history that even when UPA presented its budgets, uh, P. Chidamram presented many budgets during the 10 years of the UPA government just preceding Modi governments. Uh, not all of the opposition rule states were mentioned in a budget speech. That didn't necessarily mean that they were not getting what their uh, you know, due was and that no, uh, there is no budget which can claim that all state demands have been accommodated. So is it fair for the Congress and the opposition to say that there is some great bias or discrimination going on here? Rajiv Desai. No, 
it's not a matter of fairness or anything. They have said it themselves that they're they're going to give Bihar this. They're going to give uh, all the states where they have a weakness. Uh, they're going to uh, uh, help them more. They've said it in no uncertain terms. Mm -hmm. But the point is, a budget, you know, is is not intended to be politicized like this. And and this is what they've done for years. The, a budget cannot be a political document. Oh, well, it can be a political document, but it, its pri priorities cannot be political. Priorities have to be basically economic. What's good for a given state, a given city, and the country, uh, those are the kinds of calculations that go into it. Mm -hmm. I, unfortunately, haven't gotten a, gotten a copy of the budget papers yet, but from what I've heard and talked to people and learned, it's very thin on 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 substance. You know, the budget is very thin on substance. Oh, something here, something there. Oh, you didn't do something for this. Oh, you should do something for that. It's that kind of. Uh, no, fair enough. Other criticisms of the gov of the budget uh, aside, I just want to mention Rajiv Desai. For example, uh, you know, uh, Himachal Pradesh has Congress rule has been mentioned for to get uh, funds. Uh, for uh, rehabilitation and reconstruction of roads post floods. There is a corridor that runs from Vishakhapatnam to Chennai, so that covers Tamil Nadu. There is Hyderabad Bengaluru corridor, so that covers two states that are currently ruled by the Congress party. So, where is the criticism that you've only meant? How come the criticism that you've only mentioned? You know, no, no, politically, no, no, what I, was important to you? No, I I am not criticizing those kinds of issues. Whether there's a road going from here to there and it's been mentioned in the speech or not is not the issue. Hmm. I think the BJP, the the recognition should have dawned on the finance minister that the BJP is. Uh, in power in the entire nation, not just in the few BJP ruled states and. Uh, but sir, are, that uh, criticism is coming state. from where? Could you point huh? out that criticism what? that they are only taking care of where they are in power is coming from where? Well, I don't know. Uh, I, you said it. I have no idea where where they uh, they are being criticized. But I am criticizing them for their complete lack of understanding of. The economics of the situation, the economics is very simple. You can't endlessly go on increasing deficits. You can't endlessly go on emphasizing growth. You can't endlessly go on hiding statistics. You have to come to terms with reality at some point. Okay, I'll come through that in just a bit. Uh, I am in no way saying that the BJP has only worked for NDA rule states. That's the charge that the opposition is making, Rajiv Desai, and that is why we're discussing it. Congress I didn't is say saying you did it. I, yeah, I yeah. what I'm saying is that I'm asking this question because the Congress, along with other opposition leaders, in, uh, including chief ministers of certain non-NDA states that are wanting to boycott the next Niti Aayog meeting on this ground, mm. are suggesting that for some reason they are not getting their dues or haven't had their demands met. But is there a budget that has met each and every state's pending demands is a question that goes out. Is there a budget that mentions each and every state and what it is getting is a question that goes out. But is it a political budget or not? On that, Syed Zafar Islam can respond to Rajiv Desai. It is very unfair to make this kind of statement that it's a political document or a political budget. There is no politics in presenting a budget. The focus huh? is clearly it's the, the, the way the street was expecting, sir, all the economists, were, they were expecting that we need to demonstrate and define the fiscal prudence measures we have taken. So we have, decided, we have demonstrated that instead of the street expectation of 5.1, the budget estimate suggests 4.9 percent. And even though the roadmap which has indicated 4.5 percent fiscal deficit for 20, FY26, that perhaps will come up further. And it may be around 4.4 or, or uh, even below. So that that only lends comfort to the economies, the global investors, the uh, the uh, market participants, everybody who is okay. who wants to uh, see the budget from the economic perspective. Having said that, then all the other expectation from the budget, be it the job creation, be it the MSME, be it the uh, skilling, because we have a young force in the country, young workforce, and they, we need to skill them. So skilling is a priority for us, and that is what 
that is why we have to emphasize in this budget that skilling is important no, likewise all of that fine uh, whether women, it works out or not on ground is a, is again it's going to be evaluated over a period of time this so is a budget that's for 6 months debate. no one has tried to politicize you've not so tried no to politicize by mentioning no only bihar and andhra pradesh in great detail and no other state in great detail how does it matter tell me tell me i challenge i challenge On your channel, right that show me mean, one budget speech has which has mentioned food. every state, every state, every state has been mentioned. Tell me when, 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 when budget It's speech. It's not when that every state has been mentioned. What have been given to them? It's okay, not sir. What is that? Just state. because you think differently, that becomes a gospel of truth. Just because no, you think differently, no, what is that? No, then? it's not. It's she, not did, the did gospel she of truth. Talking about. I'm not understanding somebody, what the objection is because the Congress Party's objection, Rajiv Desai, I'm coming to Yanshul as well, was that you haven't mentioned us at all. But there is a fine print. I mean, surely the budget document cannot be read out in numbers the way that you know it is written out and presented to everybody. But yes, Rajiv Desai, go ahead. Thirty seconds and Gujarat. No, I'm trying to understand. One second, sir. One second. Rajiv Desai. Rajiv Desai. What the Congress said or didn't say. Okay. All I know is that a budget. Should set up a government's economic priorities based on the political situation at a given time, and this one just reeks of complete confusion and a complete lack of understanding of national priorities and uh, allocations. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm like, not saying more. Gursharan Das, like, one second. Like, Sayed, Sayed Zafar like, Islam, one second. No, no, one second. No, no, I'll no, come no, back. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's a statement. Let him, let him say what was the priorities which has been ignored. It is not. I'm un, not. This I, excuse me. I'm not. I'm not, not doing an you interview can with him. Please. No, but not. Uh, you are not doing an interview, sir. But you are making no, no, a statement. No, no. I'm sorry. You cannot cross examine incorrect. me. Being I'm an economist. To the, to the, no, I'm not cross examining, but I will definitely question you when you are Asa, when you, you are posing something which is factually incorrect. You should not do that. If you are doing that, then you must explain to me. I am talking to the host of the show. I am not talking to you. I'm talking to the host of Sir, the show, and the audience is watching you. What I think about the audience budget. Is watching Why you. are you getting so upset? The people are watching There's you. There's nothing to be people upset. People are watching you. Okay. If you no, I'm not. I'm I'm not upset. I'm saying that if you are making a statement, must. Rajiv Desai, do you want to qualify the this the, the, uh, the judgment that you have presented on the budget? That it's a fair ask. If you're saying what that this the, budget is confused and hasn't prioritized what it should have, you must, uh, you know, uh, elucidate what you mean by that. Or point well, out I, which as one. As I told you, no, no. This I have just, you know, I was on your show yesterday. I've talked to many people in the. I haven't read the budget document as is. It's a thick document. But mm -hmm. the fact of the so matter is. So then don't is, comment. Don't come on this. Zafar, uh, <laughs> so one second. Let him finish. Oh, let him finish. Don't comment based well, on what. Don't keep quiet. No. Let let please him not make a statement. Let him not make a statement. He has not gone through the document. Okay. Let no, I think that's fair enough. Uh, if, if one is, is to talk about a I'm lengthy saying. document and about. something which is so technical as the budget, it cannot be criticism up in the air. But I got to move Just on. I want to focus. I want to focus on the state's funds issue because this is going like beyond the budget. This issue has been beyond the budget of what. Uh, Non-NDA states are getting or not getting. Yes, Gusharan Das, you wanted to come in very quickly, sir. Then answer. Well, I, you know, I was just saying. Frankly, every budget is a political budget, and the, frankly, also the fact is that the NDA has to kursi bachao. Hmm. They don't want to fall uh, because of Andhra and uh, Bihar leaving them. Hmm. So. The reality is, if you're going to mention Andhra and Bihar the way it was done, the, it would have been a smart thing to have done what you did in the beginning of this show: have a chart and show <laughs> what you're giving to every state, mm -hmm. and that would have been that would have diffused the whole thing. But now that we you know it's it, it's water down the bridge, it's still not too late. That chart now should be presented. Okay. These guys who are back, this idea of boycotting Niti Aayog, they are the ones who are going to suffer. Yeah. Because then, in fact, that was going to be my north. question to Anshul on this. You know, this whole thing about states not getting their due, their funds, all of this happens by way of process set by the Finance Commission. Now, you can criticize some of the benchmarks by the Finance Commission, etc., but you cannot. 
quite accused the finance minister of picking and choosing who she is giving funds to, particularly what is due to states. And then, you know, this whole cooperative federalism goes for a toss from the other side too, from the states too, if they don't turn up for meetings, if they have this standoffish attitude that we're just not going to talk to you. you know, there is no cooperative federalism. Yeah, there is no cooperative federalism. It's an empty word which has been spoken about by the Home Minister, by the Finance Minister. What about the GST Council? I mean, that meets pretty often. Does any of the things, suggestions of the GST Council, are they taken seriously by the Finance Minister? That has been a complaint. The time GST and again. Council Look, works I, on again, majority. You're interrupting me. No, but uh, I'm sure no, but you're presenting it as if there is a judge that sits Otherwise, on a GST Council. No, no, the I'm GST Council talking. doesn't work like that. The centre has only as much say as the states. Too. Does but it, you know the, the point? complaint of the GST council has been huh. that what their suggestions have been have never been taken into account. There is complete arrogance. Have you have you gone through what are the but uh, doesn't kind it of, need uh, enough support from other states? Wait, wait, you should no, no, let, let, let me just let me just, just let me complete my point. Huh. I, I don't I don't look. You know, here is a question. First of all, your point has been disapproved. Disproved that only the Congress party and the states are bringing up this point. Mr. Das himself is saying that this is a kursi bachao uh, budget. The economists are saying, read the papers, people who are commenting, political analysts, other analysts and commentators who've been, it's, you know, it's completely exposed. You don't have to read the fine print. You have to listen to the speech of the finance minister to say that what a shameless politics is going on in the name of the budget. I understand that every budget is a political budget because the executive has that power and the executive is elected and it's accountable to the house. So therefore, it's political. I understand this kind of shamelessness is completely exposed. Now, the other point is, and, and this is the, what is leading up. There is a has been consistently over the years a trust, up, a trust deficit between the states and the center. It's not nothing new. So this has been a buildup of over the years of uh, uh, this kind of a, 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 trust, deficit, a, a trust deficit. Okay. Uh, which is comes to GST council, not giving loans. If, if you have Karnataka and if it wants to do certain welfare programs, the center doesn't help. It puts hurdles in every single state. There's been discrimination. There's been bias. There've been complaints. There've been all kinds of interferences. There are numerous examples of the federal structure not being adequately represented. Uh, respected and this has been the complaint of the states this is just a lead up to that so no but i still don't what... understand anshul i uh, no, you know you i i am the one who's questions. talking about it because i've seen a pattern over the last one year where uh, for everything uh, non uh, nda rule states have started saying oh we don't have funds and we are not getting our due to the extent that some states where Congress is in power, some leaders of the Congress party suggested that because we pay so much tax, we give so much tax, we should be a separate country because we are not getting our due back. So knowing that's fully, a, that's, that's a knowing fully no, well no, no, how no, the tax that. devolution no, is taken. No, I'm done. sorry, you can't pick no, no, on no, that. No, no, no. Why can't I pick on no, that? No, no, no. no. No, because no, that, no, is said, that is said by some ran in, in a random... No, 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 you, uh, no, no that's not it. random. But that's no, the no, brother no, of the uh, deputy chief budget. minister in Karnataka. No, no, it's no, not no, random. My point is, I am discussing this precisely no, no, for this no, no, pattern no, no, that is emerging. No, no, but my question was purely no. this. Because it is being said, on one hand, both of you, uh, Anshul and Rajiv are saying, yes, budgets are political, they are a political statement. On the other side, you are opposing the fact that no, two Mr. states Darcy were mentioned a little it. bit more. But I am asking you, the on the panel. charge of bias and discrimination, can you tell me, is there Until a budget that has you. fulfilled every state's wish in one year? No, no, don't just, states get turns where one state gets no, I don't in one year and another state point. gets... Let me make my final point. Yeah. Shivani, just a minute. You mentioned, first of all, previous budget uh, announcements. Yes. Uh, the finance minister reading them. And you said that every state was not mentioned by them. Yes. Do you record any critique by the members of the opposition or the other ruling states that there was a bias there? It was a normal budget in which you mention certain things and even which you doesn't. So just it's because it's happening for the first time, and that means it's correct. Madam, what is the logic here? No, I'm simply saying here that those states that were those were also uh, cert certain coalitions, right? It's yeah. not that those were pandering in this shameless way 
in the in the way it was done then because the critique would have come up so have you okay let me critique? understand this the pandering no, no, is the critique? shameless pandering is that nirmala sitaraman mentioned bihar and andhra pradesh more than other states rajiv no, desai no, here in front of no, you is saying no that's complaint. not the problem here there's a political context here which you have repeated and which the other members in this panel have also repeated so that's the, the shameless pandering right, right. the fact that people. nirmala sitaraman speech oh, mentioned I, bihar I, and andhra pradesh more no, no, I'm trying to understand what the problem is. You have to get the. No, Why are you getting much? into a discussion? Then let the panelists. Debate. Let me understand so what the problem the is. No, Rajiv Desai, you don't are tell you me how to, to anchor, please. It or not? If you allow me, uh, let I allowed you so much. So shameless pandering is that Nirmala Sita Raman mentioned Bihar and Andhra Pradesh because there's a political context, That's right? That's not what was said. That's not what was said. Anshul, is that correct or no? Look, look, hang on a minute. You re you reword it. No, no. Uh, uh, well, I can't go back. You rewind the tape, yeah. I, no, no. I'm saying remember. you reword it. I'm giving you another 15 seconds to reword no, no, what the problem go. is. They are confused. Listen, either you try and understand. They are. They are. Either, they are either terribly confused. Either you try confused. and understand what I'm trying to say. If I'm trying to understand sentence, what you're trying to say. Say it. Said my my point. Yeah, say I it. Made my point. There, there has been a shamelessly political <laughs> use of the budget. Political use of the budget. Use of the budget. to get to pander to certain allies who been uh, giving oxygen to this brittle dispensation okay. what else you want me to say the others have said it as well okay and, and that is on the basis of, of you, the fact that funds have been denied is, to other states or on the basis of the fact that nirmala sitaraman mentioned bihar and andhra pradesh more I, excuse me no, i don't think i, the, I know no, no, why no, no, can't no, we have no, a uh, rajiv ji please not like this please let me do uh, the let me question the way i want to question please Yes, Anshul. On no, no, the, no, on the no, no. political no, no. use to pander context, to allies is on I the basis of the speech, right? Well, if they look, uh, first of all, their demands were not met. The only way they gave out some sort of half measure, which is in fact they've been short stained, they won't realize it, huh. is through this political uh, thing called the budget, which they used shamelessly. I've said it again. They've used it to uh, to give more stability to this government. no okay. is that the platform where macroeconomics where your your you completely wrecked the economy right after 11 years 10 years you recognize there's a problem like unemployment where headlines have been screeching even before the pandemic okay now don't go to unemployment issues let's stick to no, the no, state why, why not that part let's of the budget no, no, you mentioned it we you know, that it. criticism we did and we have spoken can about come, the acceptance of the job can, 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 can but you cannot mix it with this can i come i can do what yes, i want yes sayed zafar yeah sayed zafar islam i have to give him an opportunity to respond no, no, now anshul uh, uh, you've had quite a bit of a say no no force. so political uh, uh, use I, I to think, pander think, to allies and to secure your kursi as it was called a kursi bachao uh, bachao uh, budget explain that sayed zafar islam See, they can. Okay, let me explain. First of all, they seem to be terribly confused, both of them, Anshul as well as uh, Mr. Desai, and they are making a statement. They are contradicting themselves. Anyway, away from that, let me just explain to you what what uh, the question you have posed. See, uh, it, it, there is absolutely no uncertainty for us where we need to resort to such thing. If they tried, that they, they may have tried, attempted many times, and they have been. N not entertained by these political part two political parties and mm -hmm. that's why they are, these kind of they have resorted to this kind of rhetorics i understand that they are concerned and they have nothing else to say that's why they they feel that the budget is extremely balanced what they're suggesting well basically said zafar islam what they're suggesting India. basically is had you so, not mentioned it in the blatantly political and shameless pandering way to quote anshul avijit your government would have fallen I don't think anybody said that. Oh my God, Anshul Abhijit, yeah. that's Anshul the Abhijit. suggestion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kursi Pachau no, is exactly no, 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 that. What else is no, that? No, 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 no See, because they, I'm a journalist he's, like he's you. He's from Bihar. I think the way, no, I, the way he is criticizing this budget, and especially the beneficiary he is talking about is only Bihar. He, as per him, although I am, I am making this statement that 
Bihar and Andhra Pradesh have been mentioned along with few other states. Okay. But every state is the beneficiary like, like, uh, like in the past. But since he is making a statement and criticizing government for making larger allocation for Bihar, despite being from Bihar, is something no, which not, will, will not go, yeah, look, go now down now well for him in Bihar. Nobody is big uh, for, Bihar for him in Bihar, for sure. Yeah, because Congress, Congress no, Party, no, no, may, Congress no, Party, no, just because Zafar we have supported, we have supported. Uh, in fact, I welcome every kind no, no, of help given to no, Bihar. No, 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 this is what you are no, no, criticizing. No, no, I didn't say. No, no, I'm criticizing you fought election from Bihar. You fought election from Bihar. You should have welcomed it. You should have welcomed it. Instead of criticizing, making this kind of statement, you should have welcomed this budget because there is a larger allocation for Bihar. Bihar has been not given No, you are not criticizing the no, budget. No, because not you have, there is nothing which you can criticize. Bihar the budget is very balanced. It is being appreciated by everyone. It, it is well received by no, local and global audience. But Bihar has got it's an allocation. An you have that budget. problem. That's okay. why you are you, trying the to government. save the government. Why? Why? No, no, hopeless for you. Because you know that you cannot be Bihar come back to Okay, okay. Can I, can, I just, can, can I just reiterate, gentlemen? Can I just reiterate? They are happy. Larger issues or criticisms the with the budget aside, we are trying budget. to understand if there is actually merit in the charge that some states have been deprived and other states have benefited. Uh, more None than they the should price. have. That is the it basic is charge experience. and that is the serious charge to make. I have limited time. Uh, sir, I have 15 to 20 seconds left. Raji Desai, the other issue is about special statuses. Despite the fact that special statuses no longer exist, state governments keep asking for it. What do you think should be done about this larger issue? There are, there are some con conditions under which uh, 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 an appeal of that sort can be considered, but I don't think, as a matter of principle, as a matter of fact, they should be uh, uh, it, they should be given consideration. Okay. That's my view, but that has nothing to do with this. Okay, uh, no, I, actually, I, it does have something to do with this because uh, both of these states had been asking for either a special package or a special status, whichever way you I want see. to put it. In okay. fact, Nitish Kumar is on record to say that yes, this was our demand. The, st uh, the special status doesn't exist okay. anymore and that the government yeah. made very clear to us. They've tried to do things in other ways for us and we are happy with it. I've run out of time. I do thank all of our guests for this very spirited debate.